you take the patient over, let's say I do the evaluation and hand the patient over to one of you, once you take over the patient, you can collect the data for the OT to, to look at to help you with your next treatment plan. So there's no reason why you can't do those measurements and then collaborate with the OT. Okay? So that's another way to make that happen. So we're measuring joint angles, determines um, a particular joint position, and determines the total <coughs> osteokinematic range of the joint. So that's what we're measuring is osteokinematic range of motion, not, not the little stuff, not arthrokinematics, but osteokinematic. Okay? And you can measure active and passive range of motion. So goniometry can provide an accurate record of the degree of disability or ability present. 